the belief that Africans were N-A-K-E-D before the arrival of Europeans is totally ludicrous because Africa's two popular forms of fabric, the Malian Bogolan and the Ghanaian Kente, were in existence way before the first explorer ever set foot on the shores of Africa. So, that belief is totally bullshit. To the Ono Afro, we are revealing 15 of the most beautiful traditional costumes of African countries. Let's begin. Oh, Afro. Kenya. In Kenya, there are many types of costumes. That's because every region or tribe has their own idea how a traditional attire should look. Regardless, Kenyan traditional clothing is very colorful and heavily decorated. Popular types are the Kitenge and Kanga. Nigeria The most common traditional clothes worn in Nigeria are the Abada, the Isiagu, and for the females, the Edo culture costume. South Africa SA is a hotbed of multiple cultures, ethnicities, cuisines, traditions, and clothing. The country is a home to a multitude of people from different parts of the world, and the differences between these cultures can be seen in their clothing style. Kosa, Venda, and Debele have different styles of clothing, but the one ring to rule over all of these people is the Madiba shirt. Tanzania Men in Tanzania often use less colorful garments than women. They prefer brown, beige, blue, and yellow colors. This outfit is known as the Kanzu. Women from this country wear Kanga or Kitenge. Uganda The Mushanana, oh I love this name, is a traditional ceremonial dress of women in Uganda. Burundi and Rwanda. It consists of a wrapped skirt bunched at the hips and a sash draped over one shoulder, typically worn over a tank top or a bustier. Gomez is one of Uganda's favorite clothes, but it is mostly donned by older women. Ethiopia Each ethnic group or tribe that lives in Ethiopia has its own unique traditional clothes. However, the most common one is the Habeshi Kemis, worn by the women. This is a long white dress embellished with embroidery and a white shawl known as Netela. The men's consist of white trousers, a white knee-length shirt, and a piece of cloth known as Gabi. Hey, tell us which of these traditional African clothes already caught your attention in the comments below. Somalia Somalian women wear a long dress made out of comfortable polyester known as batir. Married women tend to sport head scarves referred to as shash and often cover their upper body. Somali men wear mowis. Oh, nice. For their upper garment, a plain shirt does the magic and a colorful turban or a kufiyat. Ghana. culture of this country and its Asian heritage heavily influence the look of traditional clothes. That's why the designs, fabrics, and patterns are not just any random thing without any meaning. These fabrics carry old knowledge and tradition. The two common types of traditional costumes in Ghana are kente and the Ghanaian smock. Rwanda Just like Uganda, people here also wear mushanana. This attire is a little bit similar to a very simple draped Indian sari, but it is historically used in Africa and is a large part of Rwandan culture. The Gambia Normally clothes in Gambia include long flowing items. For women, these clothes often go down down to the ankles and traditional clothes are often bright and colorful made from a very popular process known as tie-dye. DRC In the DRC, men and women enjoy dressing up in nice clothes with very bold colors. The Congolese dress in a style known as liputa. 
not to be confused with Lupita. Is that like a code word for something else? Wearing nice clothes in this country is extremely important because the nicer the clothes are, the more respect you will receive. Congolese women hardly ever wear pants. Why does this sound weird? Oh, I mean trousers. That's what's in it. The traditional Swazi outfit worn by men and women are called emahia. They consist of two parts. The top part is an Umhel Wayne. Umhel Wayne, Wani? Umhel Wayne. This is a large piece of fabric tied with a knot on the left hand side of the shoulder. The bottom part is lihia which is a cloth wrapped around the waist. Morocco. The traditional dress for men and women in Morocco is called gelaba. For very special occasions, men also wear a red cap referred to as a fez, while the women wear kaftans. Mali Silk skirts, tunics and long dresses are popular choices for Malian women, particularly the pannier, which is a wrap-around skirt Traditionally, women also wear turbans that match their dresses. The bubu, which is a full-length tunic, is a traditional men's garment. Egypt. Similar to that of Morocco, the most widespread outerwear in Egypt is known as the kaftan. The kaftan here is open in the front and belted with a sash called hizan. Which of these African clothing styles appeal to you the most? Leave us a comment down there. I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.